Google Classroom is a great tool to use with your students and it really can become the digital hub of your classroom. In this video, I'm going to take a look at the Google Classroom question option. The question option or question post in Google Classroom can be a great way to do a bell ringer or to do an exit ticket or to have your students respond to a writing prompt or even do a journal entry. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Google Classroom question option to create a discussion question. I've already gone ahead and logged into my Google Classroom and I'm going to click the plus sign and I'm going to select question. It gives me a place to write the question and any instructions that I want. Those instructions are optional. I've entered my question. I can set a due date for this question to be answered by. I can attach a file. I can attach a file out of my Google Drive. I can attach a YouTube video or I can even add a link to the website to help with the discussion. I can also assign the same question to multiple classes. You'll also see here that you have two options for how students can interact with the question. The first option is students can reply to each other and by default this is toggled on. When this is on it means that students will be able to see and reply to each other's answers. When you're using the question option as a discussion board you want to be sure that this is turned on. If you are using the question option as a writing prompt or a journal entry and you maybe don't want students to see each other's answers, then you need to toggle this to off. They will not be able to see each other's answers and obviously they will not be able to reply to answers if this is turned off. But it also allows for you to use Google Classroom questions for journal entries or things that are more private. I'm going to leave this turned on because I want a discussion to happen with this question. The second option for students and how they interact with the question is students can edit the answers. By default, this is turned off. If this is off, it means that once students submit the answer, they will not be able to go back in and edit it. If you toggle this on, they will be able to edit the answer after they have submitted it. I'm going to leave this toggled to off. I'm going to go ahead and click Ask. This is what it looks like on the teacher side. We can see how many are not done and how many how many are done and how many are not done. Let's take a look at this from the student side. This is a student account. I'm going to update my stream to show the question. Here is the question and here is a place for me to provide my answer. This is telling me that classmates will be able to see my answer. When I'm done answering the question, I'm going to click Submit. It's reminding me that I won't be able to make changes to my answer after I have submitted it because my teacher did not turn that feature on for me. So I'm going to go ahead and click Submit and it will tell me that I am done with my question. Now that I've answered the question, it gives me an option to see my classmates answers. So if I click on that, as my classmates answer this question, I will be, I will be able to see all of their answers here and I can reply to any of their answers. If I switch back over to the teacher side and we'll see what's happened on the teacher side, as a teacher I can see I've got one student that's done. So I'm going to enter into this question and here I can see Sue is done with the question and she really hasn't given me a very good answer. So I'm going to reply to Sue and ask her for some more information. So I've given Sue my feedback. I'm going to hit post and there is my reply to Sue. If I switch back over to the student side, we will see, Sue can immediately see that there has been one reply to her answer. And I have said, can you be more specific? So now Sue can choose to come in here and reply to that and add to her answer. The Google Classroom question option is a great one for exit tickets, bell ringers, or discussion questions.